Now that my brothers have closed out a strong winning season, as I continue to make so much progress recovering, I think it's finally a good time to share a few things. I think it was important for me to wait and speak publicly at the right time, as it was just a lot to process um, within my own self, uh, mentally, physically, um, even spiritually. It's just been a lot to process, but I can't tell you how appreciative I am of all the love, all the support, and everything that's just been coming in my way. What happened to me on Monday Night Football, I feel is a direct example of God using me as a vessel to share my passion and my love directly from my heart uh, with the entire world. And I'm able to give it back to kids and communities all across the world uh, who need it the most. And that's always been my dream. That's always been what I stood for and what I will continue to stand for. And with that being said, I want to thank a few people who helped me most directly to get back to this moment to where I'm able to speak to you. The Bills training, athletic, and medical staff, notably Nate, Denny, Joe Mika, Tabani, Dr. Bassan, Dr. White, Dr. Kim, Dr. Mark Feinberg, Joe Collins, Dr. Daz, Marissa, Dr. Musio, Corey Reblin, and last but not least, I can't forget Kels. The University of Cincinnati Medical Center, uh, starting with Dr. Timothy Pritz, Dr. William Knight, and all the first responders who acted swiftly and skillfully to save my life. To all the medical personnel and healthcare providers at both Cincinnati Medical Center and Buffalo General Hospital, Dr. Jamie Nadler, Dr. Ken Snyder, Dr. Levy, and Dr. Chi Kim. To my mom and my dad, who are literally my anchors and my everything, who never left my side the entire time. Uh, to my little bro, who is my why, um, my reason why I strive to be my best self every day. And to all my family and friends who supported me in many ways during this time, um, whether it was showing up for visits or just a single text just to check on how I was doing. To Bill's Mafia, um, I just want to thank you so much for the genuine love and support. Uh, ever since I became a Buffalo Bill, it's been nothing but genuine love and support, not even only for me, but everyone's situation, no matter what it was. It was, you know, Bill's Mafia jumped behind it and gave 110% uh, support, love, no matter the situation. Um, and, you know, with this happening uh, to me, uh, I didn't feel anything short of the love. And it really helped me stay encouraged to get through the toughest moments and the toughest times. I, I really can't thank you enough. To the entire Bills organization, um, my brothers who made it a priority to lift me up spiritually, mentally, and in every way possible, reaching out every day, uh, seeing how I was doing, um, calling, texting, you know, just checking up on me no matter the situation. I'm proud to be a part of this team. I'm proud to be able to, to call you guys my brothers. To the city of Cincinnati, the Bengals, and the entire NFL, uh, just for putting Team Allegiance aside to root for to root for one kid's life, and just the, the humanity of a player, you know, that's wearing Buffalo blue. You put humanity above team loyalty. You showed the world unity over division. I'm not surprised by it, but I'm deeply grateful, and I'll be forever thankful and indebted to that. To all the kids who sent me letters and heartwarming gifts, uh, you mean the world to me. Uh, you made my day every day. Uh, you inspired me to keep dreaming big and to just continue to keep helping making this world a better place. It's always been important for me to be a role model, but just seeing the love and the support from the youth, uh, it just it just makes me wanna you know give back and and get out in the communities and and touch the kids and just be that example that they can look to, touch, feel, talk to, and know that whatever they dream of, um, it's real. It can happen uh, if you if you stay focused, stay dedicated, uh, stay committed to whatever you got going on. You know, because that's that's pretty much what got me here. That's what got me in this position. Thank you to everyone who donated in any type of way to the Chasing Them Foundation. Uh, my mind is literally blown away from all the support. Um, I don't even have the words to express the gratitude for the amount of support that was given into that. That was something that was started even way before I made it to the NFL. Something that was started small just to be able to affect my small community back at home, McKees Rocks. Uh, I just wanted to, to be able to play my role and do my part uh, in my community uh, as, I, as I ventured off and to chase my dreams of making the NFL. Uh, and you guys have just 
took that and blown it away. And, and I'm so excited for the things that I have planned in the future uh, for these kids uh, all across the country now. While I'm so thankful to everybody, I know that it isn't enough just to be thankful. This is just the beginning of the impact that I wanted to have on the world. And with God's guidance, I will continue to do wonderful and great things. I couldn't do this without any of the support and the love. And I can't wait to continue to take y'all on this journey with me.